Welcome back to Just a Printer. I'm Dan. I'm going to show you how to replace the blade on the Challenge Cutter. The two biggest giveaways that your blade needs to be sharpened uh, would be the sound. It's going to be a much lower, duller sound as it's cutting paper. But the biggest giveaway is when you cut a stack of paper, it's going to pull that paper and it's going to kind of make a concave uh, indent as it cuts. Uh, and that's your, your biggest telltale sign that uh, it's time to replace it. Uh, another reason that that might happen is that your clamp pressure is going to be too low. So you can adjust your clamp pressure a little bit, uh, but it doesn't matter what you do. If the blade needs to be sharpened, it's got to get sharpened. Okay, what you're going to need to do this is the, uh, the Allen wrench. Uh, to take out each one of these uh, these two handles that are going to go in uh, these two spots where uh, the groove goes out the whole way so you can safely take the knife out and a 9 16th wrench uh, to make the adjustment on the knife depth and also the, uh, the knife carrier uh, so you can take that to your local straight knife sharpening shop First things first, turn it on and uh, push the knife down buttons and hold them. It takes about three seconds until the uh, hydraulic pump turns off and at that point you can let them go. First two bolts that you want to remove are the ones that have an opening the whole way out. So there's one here and one here. And you're going to want to put these in and just snug them up by hand. And what you're going to want to do next is raise these two bolts up. You're going to want to go counterclockwise up all the way. And what this does is raise up the adjustment for the knife depth. If you don't do this and the next blade that you put on is longer than this blade that is currently on your cutter, you will damage that blade uh, and possibly ruin it and it would need to be resharpened. So move both of these up all the way. Uh, you can start the cutter up and it'll raise back the knife. At this point, you can take out the remainder of these bolts. So before we take the knife out, you just want to make sure you have your empty scabbard here and take the bolts out, which I already did, uh, so that we can come right out of the cutter and right into the scabbard. We don't want to go too far with this. You don't want to walk across the room or anything. You just want to do this as safely and with the least amount of movement that you possibly can. Now, even though this is a dull knife, it's still very dangerous to do this, and you should always get a little bit nervous when you're swapping the blade out, because even though it's dull, It'll still take your hand off if you drop it, or definitely take your toes off if you drop it on your feet. So carefully do this next step. Hold them up a little bit and loosen them just a hair. And you're gonna feel the weight of them. And you just need to come down, straight down. Being careful not to nick anything. And you line up your bolt holes.
And then what you're gonna wanna do is tighten these up so you don't want that moving at all uh, during transportation. Grab the uh, sharp blade and you're just going to do this in reverse. And then as you're holding it up, tighten the handles and that'll squeeze the blade in place until you get these other bolts in. And at this point you still want to be extremely careful because that blade is not safely fastened until you get these bolts in. So don't put anything underneath that blade. So at this point put all the bolts back in. Pull these out and put bolts in their places as well. And uh, just snug everything down, uh, but don't fully tighten it. At this point you're going to want to rotate or replace your cutting stick. Uh, and you should have this tool that came with the cutter. Uh, and what you do is put your finger through there and you hook it on the cutting stick and pull up. And then you should be able to rotate it uh, to a, a clean spot that had no cuts on it. So with this stick I have one more spot left here. Let's put that back. And uh, what we're going to want to do is grab a piece of paper. So we have paper under each edge of the knife so we know how far to adjust the knife depth. Okay, you're going to want to repeat step one, which turn the, the uh, cutter on and then hold the cut buttons down until the knife bottoms out and hold a couple seconds until it turns off. Now if you notice the knife did not cut the paper, that's good, that's because we backed these up so that it's holding the knife higher than it needs to be. Uh, so at this point we're going to lower both of these adjustments, turn them clockwise, until both pieces of paper are cut and then after that we will tighten all of the bolts and uh, that should be the final adjustment that we need to do and uh, chances are typically uh, if you have two knives that you purchase at the same time and they're the same size you don't really have to back off the whole way uh, you really just need to back it up a few turns and then redo this, uh, turn it back down. But I have two different knives of different ages, so just to play it safe, I back it up the whole way each time that they're replaced. So you see I'm turning that quite often and the blade's just starting to move now. Now I'm going to go over here, you want to turn it down evenly, because if you cut one side and then you don't adjust the other side down uh, as this side comes down it's going to bring this side up just a little bit so you want to kind of watch the knife down at the paper and try and cut the paper evenly there it went Okay. 
Okay. I think that should do it. So again, tighten all the bolts up. That's how it's done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, I can't in the right mind change a blade and not let you listen to the sweet, sweet sound of a very sharp blade going through the first stack of paper. Check this out. so nice.